All right, we're going to do a problem that's a little more complicated here. It says a tortoise and a hare start a race. The tortoise, which can only accelerate at 1.5 meters per second squared, starts five seconds before the hare. So we have our tortoise. And it has an acceleration equal to 1.5 meters per second squared. All right, and it gets a five second head start. Second head start. Now the hare, the rabbit, has a acceleration of 2.8. So this is the tortoise, this is the hare, of 2.8 meters per second squared. Right. How far will they travel before the hare catches up to the tortoise? So the tortoise is going to take off first, get a five second head start, and then the hare is going to take off and we want to know the distance until they catch up. Notice that they both go the same distance. So we can use that to figure out what that distance is. So, the way we're going to do that is we're going to say, what's the distance the tortoise goes? Well, we're going to use this equation. x is equal to, I'm going to make it x of the tortoise, is equal to x naught plus v naught of the tortoise times t plus one half a of the tortoise times t squared. Okay. Now we've got to be careful. I'm going to put tortoise time because it's not the same. The tortoise has a longer time than the hare does. Now notice the initial position is zero. And the initial velocity is zero. They're starting from rest. So the tortoise is equal to one half a t times the time of the tortoise squared. Now let's figure out the distance that the hare goes. The distance the hare goes is again x naught plus v naught t plus one half the acceleration of the hare times the time the hare goes squared. This again is zero. This again is zero. So we get that the distance the hare goes is equal to one half a of the horse of the hare side times the time of the hair squared. Now I know I can actually set those equal to each other because they both go the same distance. This distance is x. So I'm just going to set these equal to each other and say that, oh, one half a of the tortoise times the tortoise's time, but the tortoise time compared to the hair. Remember the tortoise's time is equal to the time of the hair plus five seconds. It's just five seconds more, so I'm going to put this the time of the hair plus five is equal to one half the acceleration of the hair times the time of the hair squared. Whoops, this is squared too, sorry. All right, the reason I did that is I had to get rid of a variable because I have to know, I have to get this down to one variable and if I had the tortoise time and the hair time in here, I couldn't solve it. But if I put it both in times of the tortoise, I mean the time of the hair, then I can solve for that time. All right, so I can solve this now. I know this, I know this, I don't know that, but I can solve for that. It's just going to take a little bit of algebra. First of all, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, and that makes the 1 half go away. Okay? So I'm going to end up, and then I'm going to divide by the acceleration of the hair on both sides. Okay? So I'm going to end up with going over here, AT over AH times TH plus 5 squared is equal to TH squared. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You could, that's an A, you could expand this. You can multiply it out, have the cross terms go over, and then solve it for th. Very complicated. There's an easier way. So I'm going to move this to this side. So you put all the squared stuff on the same side. So this becomes at over ah. Essentially, I'm going to divide by this. I'm going to get t of the hair squared.
squared over t to the hair plus 5 squared. Now to get rid of the square root, I just take the square root. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and then the square roots go away. And so I'm going to get the square root of at over ah is equal to th over th plus 5. And I got rid of the square roots. Multiplying both sides by th plus 5, I then clear the fraction. So I'm going to get th plus 5 t, times the square root of at over ah. Remember, that's just a number. is equal to th. All right, but now I've got to th this side and this side, so I have to get them to the same side. So I'm going to distribute this. So I'm going to get th times the square root of at over ah plus 5 times the square root of at over ah is equal to th. And I'm going to move that to this side, and I'm going to factor that out. So I'm going to get 5 times the square root of at over ah is equal to th times 1 minus the square root of at over ah. So far, so good. Now we got th by itself. We just have to divide by that. So. Stay with me here. I'm running out of board space. So I'm going to go back up over here. What I end up with is this. That th is going to be equal to 5 times the square root of at over ah over 1 minus the square root of at over ah. And then I have these numbers so I can plug it in. So the time for the hair is just going to be 5 times the square root of 1.5 over 2.8 over 1 minus the square root of 1.5 over 2.8. When you do that, you get the time for the hair. Uh, is equal to 13.65 seconds. If I didn't make a mistake, hopefully not. And once we have this, then we can get the distance, because I know the time of the hair, I can just plug it into here. And so I get the distance the hair goes, is equal to 1 half times 2.8 times 13.65 squared. And when you do that, you get the distance that the hair travels is 260 meters. Or, you know that exactly a five second head start, so you could put in 18.65 in this one, put in the acceleration of the torus of 1.5, and you'll still get 260 meters. So that's the answer you should get for that one. This one was not hard to set up, the physics was all done here, but the algebra was kind of long and tedious.